Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the child um, of earth over here, which is like a page uh, of pentacles, really. And this is about, uh, you know, using all the resources you are and starting on a new project. And, you know, even uh, if you're in a relationship, it's something that's brand new that's starting. And it's going to need a lot of work. Uh, if you are starting a relationship um, or, you know, even in that relationship, it's definitely going to be needing some kind of, um, you know, work effort being put into it. Now, you have been concentrating uh, on your work a lot. Uh, you've been getting a lot of messages coming in. You can see, uh, you know, there's this download coming in almost uh, from your higher self uh, and it's activating that um, your chakra system. So it seems like, you know, you are really on uh, on uh, point with everything that you've been doing. Uh, you're in charge of things. You are collaborating with a lot of people, meeting a lot of people. Um, the works card, um, the, you've got a, the um, energies of Mars in Capricorn over here. So being very focused uh, on your career and focused on being uh, the best at what you can do. So the works card, uh, which is the Three of Pentacles, also implies that, you know, if you are in a relationship, you might need to, you know, concentrate on it a, a little bit more, uh, give it a little more attention and put in some effort into that uh, relationship. Now you've got the Purifier card over here, so there's a t um, this is the Tower card, it's got the energy of Mars in it, uh, you know, there could be some issues that are going on uh, with you and your partner, or there's some kind of drama that has happened. The Tower card usually, you know, crumbles uh, uh, things that have been going on for too long, or energies that are stagnant gets rid of it. So there might have been issues that are going on. Maybe these issues are arising because you're focused so much on your career. You are not paying attention to this uh, particular person. And maybe this is the reason why there's all this drama that is going on at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of upset. And especially with the energy of Mars around it, it looks like it's something to do, you know, with that partner of yours. Now, in the past, you've got the death card and you've got the forgiveness card. And the death card, uh, you know, is got that energy of Scorpio. So ending things uh, that are not working out for you and moving on into a new chapter over here. And, you know, cutting out that past. That's what you've been doing. You've got the card for forgiveness. So maybe there is a need for you to forgive that situation or forgive that person, uh, you know, and just lay things to rest and begin a new chapter. You've got that uh, chain around the heart over there so you know whatever is going on is restricting you it's making you very very ha unhappy and maybe this is the reason why you do need to to forgive that situation because things are you know they're they're escalating a little bit over here with that tower card of so um uh, things need to be brought out you'll need to have a heart to heart chat now going to the future you've got the abundance card um and um or rather nurturance card and um, this is the eight of earth and you've got the criticism card so the abundance card you can see this woman's uh, got this watering can and she's pouring water on the flowers so it looks like you're gonna have to work on that relationship quite a bit you're gonna put it have to put in some tender loving care into it nurture that relationship in order for it uh, to flourish uh, and, you know, uh, focus on it. And you will learn a lot from that relationship because it looks like it is some kind of soulmate relationship that you have, uh, but you do have to uh, nurture that energy. And you've got the criticism card, which is the nine of um, uh, swords, really. And this is about, you know, watch what you say. Try not to be very, very critical of the other person. This is also a card of, of being very, very anxious. Uh, so, you know, sometimes people say things, they don't realize it comes across as being, you know, harsh or being, uh, you know, they don't mean for it to be a criticism sometimes uh, or for people to take it the wrong way uh, and that could be how this person is misconstruing you know what you're saying you don't mean for it to be that to sound that harsh so just measure your words before you actually say anything and um, you know it, because it's causing a lot of anxiety within that situation so it's causing a lot of stress so you you know Calm down, count to 10 if anything irritates you, and then say what you need to say, but say it with a, you know, a lot of kindness. Uh, you know, uh, don't say it uh, in, in such a way that that person feels hurt about it. Um, you know, uh, it's always um, honey attracts more bees. So uh, it, it's important, uh, you know, to say things very sweetly, uh, but get your message across. It doesn't mean you don't have to tell them what you feel, but just be aware that that could be the thing that causes issues. Uh, but you do need to work on that relationship. You do need to nurture it and you have to give it a lot of time. You have to give it some focus because you can see this woman is really focused on what she is doing while she's pouring that water on those flowers. 
So those are the energies within those that week, or two weeks rather. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the uh, Jane Austen Tarot. And let's see what that's got to say. <coughs> So you've got the Ace of Coins over here. So um, if you are not in a relationship, this looks like there might be something brand new that's beginning, uh, you know, and it might be somebody that you've met on a work front uh, with the Ace of Coins. So uh, somebody that you're working with uh, and, uh, you know, they might be interested in you or, and you, or you might be interested in them. And, um, you know, that's starting to begin uh, a new uh, chapter in your relationship. If it isn't, uh, and you are in a relationship uh, at the moment, then there's a new phase that is beginning in within your relationship, a more established phase. The Ace of Coins uh, shows the beginning of some kind of, you know, security that is going on, uh, and you're, uh, you know, maybe putting down roots with this particular person, but a very secure relationship coming through over there. So what's happening with you? You've got the Maiden of Coins and the Lady of Quills. Uh, and it looks like, you know, you've been very, very focused on your work here. And, uh, you know, you've got um, this woman, the prince, um, the maiden of coins being, you know, uh, studying a lot, maybe uh, doing a lot of communication, looking after her own finances. So this is that queen of pentacles uh, in the normal suit. And, it, you know, it's showing your financial independence and being in charge of things. But there's a lot of books over here. So you might even be doing some further studying. And even this lady of quills, she's reading a lot. So there could be something that you're focusing on uh, where you're studying quite a bit. Um, but the lady of quills is usually somebody who's gone through a very, very difficult period in her life. And, uh, you know, she's spending a lot of time by herself, has gone through a lot of heartbreak. Now, this Ace of um, Pentacles, um, you know, for somebody who is alone, is about beginning a brand new uh, relationship, a new offer coming in that's going to be st uh, stable. And looking at these two cards here, uh, if you're single, it looks like you have been isolating yourself from everybody else, focusing maybe on your work a lot, focusing on your study a lot, uh, and not really giving people much interest because uh, you know you want your independence you're co concentrating on your uh, career at the moment um, maybe you've been through a lot of heartbreak especially with that lady of quills but you're a very determined person um, and it seems like you know uh, you're not letting anybody tell you how to handle things now you've got that ten of coins over here so it looks like there may have been some kind of breakup that you went through uh, maybe this is why the lady of quills is usually the divorcee of the uh, tarot uh the single woman has been through a lot and has cut out all those ties from the past after going through a lot of tower moments and has uh you know withdrawn into herself you've got the ten of coins over here so this is could have been a divorce situation that you've gone through so the ending of a relationship the ten of coins is the ending of that security you used to know uh there may have been some kind of settlement that came in with that ten of coins uh but that family situation uh is no longer exists so if you are in a relationship it looks like that may have come to an end now you've got in the last few months you've got the three of coins and there you go again uh, you know being very uh, focused on that work so after having that split that breakup and maybe uh, you know having to go go it alone start afresh uh, again um, you are uh, working very very hard you're concentrating on that uh, on the work over there and you know there may be somebody that is really interested in you uh, but it seems like you've got your work uh, on your mind and you're very focused there's certainly some kind of interest going on over there because you've got that ace of coins over there and you've got that person showing interest but it seems like you're very very focused on whatever you're doing and maybe ignoring everybody else now what's in your mind is you do want a relationship you are trying to manifest a relationship here with the two of cups and you want a soulmate connection you want somebody that you can socialize with somebody that understands you uh somebody that you can build a legacy with so it seems like you know you are looking for that perfect relationship to come in now going into the future you've got the wheel over here so things are going to start changing this isolation seems like it's going to end uh you know with this uh, lady of quills and this maiden of coins uh you've got a lot of socializing coming on meeting a lot of people uh the wheel card uh, or the wheel of fortune card is ruled by jupiter and that shows you know going out into the world meeting a lot more people making a lot of new uh, of new friends uh you know a lot of uh, partying going on as well so big changes coming in for you and the end of that lonely cycle that you're going through. 
So um, what's going on with you? You might still be dealing with some uh, legal issues from your previous relationship. If that was a divorce that you went through, it looks like you are dealing with that, uh, those legal issues. Uh, you know, you may have... Um, uh, this is, might be communication with your lawyer or maybe you and the person that you've broken off with or you've uh, separated from have got you know some sort of written communication going on. A ju judgment or you're waiting for a judgment uh, with regards to that particular relationship. So it looks like a news is coming in for you with that justice card. A judgment will be made. You've got the Lord of Quills over here. So this is also uh, about, uh, this is the King of Pentacles. So this is about the justice system. So this is, uh, you know, legal communication. Maybe that's what you're waiting for, or you're waiting for some uh, legal court case. And it looks like uh, a, a decision uh, will be made. There's something, there's a finality about whatever legal situation you're dealing with at the moment. It seems like once you put uh, uh, an end to that situation on the legal front, things, uh, you know, the wheel of fortune comes and ends that particular cycle and allows you to move on. So what's on your hopes and fears? You've got the hangman over here. So it seems like you are feeling a bit stuck in the situation, uh, stuck in a place where you can't seem to get out of uh, whatever's going on. And, you know, this is what you want. So you're hoping to, uh, you know, whatever the situation is, you want it to get resolved pretty quickly so that you can move on. So going into the future, you've got the five of candlesticks, the nine of quills over here, and the three of teacups. So it looks like, you know, with the five of candlesticks, you can see a lot of gossip going on behind this woman's back. And she's very, very unhappy about it or very upset about it. So you could be dealing with a lot of people saying things, uh, very negative energies around you. Maybe people are gossiping about what happened uh, or talking about you. And this is upsetting you quite a bit. Uh, you know, it's really... Um, pissing you off really uh so it looks like you know you need to actually pick your battles quite carefully turn your back and walk away uh you don't have to give anybody any airtime uh, with regards to what their opinions are this is your life and you are free to do what you want and you don't have to take anybody's criticisms on board you've got the nine of quills whatever's coming uh whatever people are saying is keeping you awake at night it is upsetting you this is a card of being very very anxious uh and you know um worrying a lot uh, so you've got that nine of quills, uh, you know, there's a lot of um, thoughts going through your head, maybe at night, maybe you're having bad dreams as well. Uh, and maybe it's because of this whole situation, it's, it's really still upsetting you. Now you've got the three, cup, three of teacups coming in here. So you need to go out there and socialize with some of your friends, get together with some friends and let go of that anxiety, get things off your chest. Um, and that is how you're going to be able to get through the situation. This legal situation might be also the thing that is keeping you up at night and causing you a lot of distress. Maybe you and the person that you've broken up are still having a lot of problems with that five of candlesticks, uh, you know, and there are people uh, maybe supporting the other party uh, that are, you know, saying things that is really, really upsetting you over there. So um, try and get out there, try and relax and try and let go of all those, uh, you know, anxieties that you're going through. So with that uh, wheel of fortune card, you are ending this particular phase. It is a karmic end to the phase because this is a major arcana card. You are waiting for some kind of legal decision and that will be made. And, um, you know, although it's causing a lot of upset and drama over there, it looks like, you know, getting out there and socializing quite a bit, even with this wheel of fortune, is going to bring in this new uh, interest uh, with that ace of coins there. So there's that new interest coming in. And it looks like somebody is very interested to you, in you, uh, in, you know, wherever it is that you work. So this period of loneliness and isolation is about to end for you. You do need to get out there and, uh, you know, have some fun. Put the past behind you and move forward, really. So this is the cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And uh, these are all, um, you know, uh, for Raphael. Raphael is about healing and seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life and be aware of your own emotions. So the four of Raphael is, you know, uh, put your personal bar borders or boundaries, uh, um, and, uh, you know, up. Make sure people know that they can't cross the line. And, uh, you know, um, it looks like with the Four of Raphael also, you know, it's the Four of Cups. There's also some kind of offer coming in there for you. Um, and it's also try and find that happiness again. You need to heal uh, from uh, whatever this, um, you know, the, whatever that happened here, you do need to heal. Because there seems to be a lot of drama going on. Because having, 
you know, uh, three cards from uh, Archangel Raphael. And I did shuffle the deck. It's, I've been using it the whole time. So, uh, you know, them to all come out at the same time is, is quite um, extraordinary. Uh, so you've got reasons to celebrate uh, a community of friends, a happy announcements uh, with regarding children or relationships. So you are going to be getting together with some friends um, and celebrating uh, some event. Now, this could be the celebration of the fact that, you know, you've gotten uh, free of this particular person because I told you there is some kind of legal situation. So maybe, uh, you know, what happens within that legal uh, situation, uh, whatever the outcome is, is a positive outcome in, you know, it goes in your favor. And this is why you're getting together with friends and celebrating here. This It's come twice in the Oracle read as well as, uh, you know, uh, the events coming up. Uh, and, you know, you've got that ship in full sail there. So you are managing to move away from, um, you know, all the difficult situations. Uh, these people are going to be able to give you that emotional support and advice and, uh, you know, uh, so get together with these friends of yours, uh, and you know, and like I said, clear, clear your chest, get your, get it off your chest, really. And then you got the Ace of Raphael, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So maybe even going out with these people is going to introduce uh, a new offer, uh, a new uh, relationship coming in, because this is you know the beginnings of something new. Uh, uh, you know, um, you know, maybe you will meet somebody uh, that is going to be the person that's going to start, uh, you know, be the start of a relationship that's going to be a profound relationship for you. Um, so it is important for you to put an end to the past, heal from it with that four of Raphael and get together with your friends, go and have some fun. And it looks like once you do that, uh, brand new beginnings start with for you because by meeting all these people, you bring in that wheel of fortune energy uh, all that socializing and you will end up meeting somebody uh, and that's going to be a much more fulfilling relationship than the one that you have previously gone through so um, i hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye